Welcome, Rocketeers, to Storytime with Mrs. Tapia and Ms. Velasquez. We are so excited that you are here with us today. Today, we are so excited because we're going to be reading a book. What if the zebras lost their stripes? Ooh, let's look at the picture. What is the picture telling us is going to happen in the story? So as we read this book by John Reitano, illustrated by William Haynes, I want you to think about, hmm, what is going on in the story? Is there a problem that's developing? And really thinking about the lesson at the end. So let's begin. What if the zebras lost their stripes and some lost black and some lost white? Would they think that it's all right? Or would the zebras start to fight? Rocketeers really thinking about what we learn about our characters. I can totally tell that we have a big question in mind. What would happen if the zebras were either all black or all white? As you continue reading, think about the characters and how they're gonna solve their problem. Were there be separate zebra types if the zebras lost their stripes? Would different colors be the end? Of living life as loving friends? Would zebras see themselves as zebras? Or were their colors make them start? To only see the black or white. And not what lives within their hearts? Would there be separate zebra land? Could black and white friends still hold hands? Would zebra children be okay to join together, laugh, and play? I know why God gave zebra stripes, so that there be no black or white. But zebras would be much too smart to let their colors tear them apart. We and Rocketeers, we have read such an amazing story. And we want you to think, reflect, hmm, what can I learn about these zebras? If zebras were had their colors, some were white and some were black, but they were still zebras, should they be fighting? No, because at the end, they were both still zebras. They were just different colored zebras. Just like many of us in our own community, we might look different, but we are all still human. Yes, we are all different. We all might look different with different cultures, but we as the zebras are way too smart to ever let this tear us apart. Rocketeers, we are so excited that you were able to join us today for this short story time. And we hope to see you again next Monday for our next Read Aloud. Ooh, I want you guys to make predictions of what do you think it'll be. But leave a comment in the section below about what this story taught you as a person and how you can make your community better. Thank you, Rocketeers. Bye. Bye, Rocketeers.